Alright, we are back to some more Skyrim, and this time we are officially initiating the Dark Brotherhood questline. Um, we technically started earlier, but now we're actually going to get into the quest of the Dark Brotherhood. Whereas the last video was kind of introducing and choosing to pick the Dark Brotherhood side, rather than going the, um, the other route that you can take in that, in that quest line. Anyway, I'm just rambling. Here's the door. Let's enter. Alright, so we're here inside of the Dark Brotherhood hideout within Skyrim. Um, I remember the majority of this quest line, and I do like it. However, I think Oblivion had a better overall quest line for the Dark Brotherhood. Not to say that Skyrim's version is, is terrible or anything, I just think that Oblivion um, kind of did this quest line better. But that's just my opinion. Um, again, it's not terrible per se or anything like that, it's just... A matter of perspective, I guess. Anyway, uh, let's see. We can take these armor pieces, but uh, they're not relatively good. But it's just nice to have anyway. Because I think I can disenchant them and um, get the bit of fence for other weapon sets. Ah, at last. I hope you found the place all right. Well, what happens now is you start your new life in the Dark Brotherhood. You're part of the family, after all. This, as you can see, is our sanctuary. You won't find a safer place in all of Skyrim. So get comfortable. Soon, my dearest. Soon. I'm arranging Correct a response. job for you, but I need some more time. For now, go talk to Nazir. He may have some smaller contracts to tide you over. Soon, the Night Mother will arrive, and things around here are sure to get even more interesting. Ah, but one last thing. A welcome home present. The armor of the Dark Brotherhood. May it serve you well in all your endeavors. Okay, so that's good. So, we go talk to Nazir. You don't really need to go anything with her. But she does give you the armor set that you saw on the table, and I think the armor set she gives you is a little bit better in terms of it actually has protections. Whereas the one on the table, um, I don't think does have protections, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah, so shrouded armor uh, has pretty decent protections, poison resistance, the cowl, and you get the hood version if you want. Uh, boots and backstabbing. So this is generally good. And I might actually wear this just for the en enchantments for some of these missions because the armor that I'm wearing um, is really more for defense, not necessarily um, made for stealth attacks or anything like that. So I might switch to the to the Brotherhood armor and kind of run through some of the missions here because they, they will require some type of stealth, if I remember correctly. But um, I think one of the reasons I don't like the Dark Brotherhood, and for those who've actually played, you know what I'm talking about. Um, this version of the Dark Brotherhood is more like a shell of its former self. Um, the original Dark Brotherhood, I think it either disbanded or was destroyed a while back, like a couple hundred years ago, and this is one of the last remnants within Tamriel. But of course, um, this one really doesn't follow most of the, of the rules of the old Dark Brotherhood, and we'll get into that a little bit later. So you're the newest member of our dwindling, dysfunctional little family. I've heard quite a bit about you. But really, a horker, some twine, what else in a hockey points for creativity, if nothing. I give you three days before you screw up and someone runs a knife across your throat. Oh, you have not seen the things I've done, sir. I've been proven wrong before. Did she now? Well, as it turns out, there are a few lingering contracts we haven't had the chance to complete just yet. And more, dribbling in from time to time. I'll assign them to you as they become available, to be completed at your leisure. Alright, sounds simple enough. It is. These aren't particularly glamorous assassinations, I'll be honest. Don't pay much either. But they'll keep you busy. Just do them as you're able. There's no real time limit. 
the targets aren't going anywhere. You can turn each one in as it's completed, or wait and turn in the whole group when all the targets have been eliminated. Whichever works for you. I will be going that route just to make things a little bit easier. I'll teach you how to use it effectively and keep you quick on your feet. Well then, let's get started. I've got three available right now. Sweet. Your targets are the beggar Narfi, an ex Miller named Enodius Papias, and Baytilde, a mind boss. When you've completed all those, we'll see if I might have some more. Alright, so we have our first three contracts available. Um, they are kill I'm gonna butcher this name. Batilde, I think, as I pronounce his name. Papas and Narif. Uh, these fucking names. Um, it doesn't really matter which one we, we take on first. Uh, I'll probably just go through order. So one, two, and three. We'll start off here. And before we head out, let's go ahead and collect this Ward of Power, even though we're not going to use it. Kill marked for death. I believe this weakens the target. Let's take a look and see. Speak and let your voice hurt doom as the opponent's armor and life force are weakened. So just pretty much a, um, a debilitating uh, shout. I can't think of the actual term I want to think about. Anyway, so for this, uh, since it's going to require some sort of stealth, I believe, I'm going to switch over to the Dark Brotherhood's outfits. So I won't be able to take as much damage, but I'll definitely be about more stealthy. So let's see, we have the top. Go with the Shrouded Boots. Go with the gloves, and let's see. And we'll go with the cow. It was actually not terrible, to say the least. Um, this will give us some some protections, but it will also allow us to um, take some, take a couple of blows and be a little bit more stealthy. And if I get the chance to actually sneak behind someone, I'm I, don't have I can um I can do a little bit more damage with the backstab. Plus, I move a little bit faster with this armor, so that's that's something to be. Um, aware of, I guess. Alright. Oh, man, this has been raining for, like, the last couple of videos. Let's see. So, where we need to go... He is located in Dawnstar. So, we'll head to Dawnstar, and... We'll try and find the best solution to kill this target without being seen. I'm thinking maybe either a stealth stab, or... Maybe we can try something with the bow and arrow. Not entirely too sure yet. Alright, so let's go ahead and drop a quick save here. We are outside of Dawnstar, and I believe we're killing a miner here, the mine boss. I can use any means at my disposal, so I could choose to use stealth, which may be kind of hard because we're in such an open area. Um, if I was using a different path, I could potentially just kill him by using one of my powers, but I feel like that would be too easy for these set of assassinations, so... We'll try and be a little bit creative, if not at least a little bit stealthy here. But if I had Shisui's path, I, I could definitely use the Koto Matsukami and potentially kill him just by activating that power. And it, it will he will kill himself and I won't be blamed for it. So the reason this is going to be a little bit hard is because he does have some pretty... I think he has some pretty decent armor and there's so many guards around here that it's potentially going to be hard to kill the boss. What the hell are you doing? Are you serious right now? Let's see here. Oh, there's a new lady in charge of the orphanage Rifton. She asked me to I really don't care right now. This is the worst time to be giving me something. Also, the water's freaking out. That's fine. I don't care about the letter. Okay. So, I'm not exactly sure how we're going to pull this off without being seen. Let's see. Strongest arrows I have would be Orcus arrows or the Seeker arrows. Those are the two strongest I have. So, we'll equip the Seeker arrows. We're definitely still seen here. I don't know if this is going to kill. Potentially, stabbing would probably be better. So I did damage. It didn't kill, though. And I wasn't seen, but it actually did do some damage. 
Let's see. Alright, well that didn't work as planned. And for some reason my icons disappeared. I think it's something that has to do with my um my UI settings, so I apologize for that. The less intrusive HUD is is interesting to say the least. Um it, it does weird things to where it doesn't show like crosshairs or, or anything like that. Alright, well. Shit. Okay, this is bad. Someone do something. Well, we could never come back to Dawnstar again. Somebody help. Crap, crap, crap. Alright. Well, that did not go as planned. Um, the arrows was a good idea. It did enough damage, but I think someone, I guess, saw me kill. And I think it's. Yeah, here goes the guards around here somewhere. Uh, let's try this again, because that honestly did not go as planned. Okay, so here she is walking. We've already hit her once with arrows. It's like so many people around here. Hmm. There's really no clean way to do this, I don't think, without being seen. Let's see. For whatever reason, I'm not getting a crosshair anymore, which is very, very annoying. Let me see if it's actually something that's in my settings, because maybe I'll take off the crosshair, and I don't remember. Display... Crosshair, there we go. Still not getting a crosshair. This makes things a little bit more difficult. Okay. So again, that didn't work because I didn't get the stealth bonus on it. We're going to try this one more time. If this doesn't work, then we're just going to go in balls deep. And just deal with the consequences. My HUD doesn't want to do what it's supposed to do. It's actually kind of annoying. And it makes it a little bit harder to shoot bow and arrows. Yeah, see, it's only when I'm crouching that it's happening. I think I know what it is now, so I apologize for the for the menu swapping here. I'll be sure to do this next time before I start recording. Um, let's see. I believe it's the sneaking crosshairs is what's happening here. Because they're showing up at the top. There we go actually drop a save here oh so I guess my stealth's not good enough because I am completely seen here in the open though I have to question how exactly they can see me Where did she go? I think that's her right there. Crap. Yeah, see, I'm not killing her with the arrow. That's the problem. 
So unfortunately, I don't think I have a strong enough arrow in my arsenal to actually do anything about that. Uh, let's see. That's the strongest bow I have. And those are definitely the strongest arrows that I have. Is the seeker arrows. Um, hmm. I mean, screw it. We're just going to have to... So she ran inside of her house. Which is unfortunate because now we have a bounty here. And the guards are after me. Alright. I don't have any powers that could be of use to me. Hmm. Here lies the problem. I'm not... I don't think I have any armor or anything that actually increases my, um... My damage. For both. Maybe I have a potion. Let's see. Potion of strength. Let's see. Draught of true shot. Bows do 30% more damage for 60 seconds. Okay. So we pop that. Now let's give it a shot. If I could actually hit her with a stealth attack, I should be able to get this. It's just, the problem is actually doing it while in stealth. There we go. Perfect. Alright, we actually took her out. We wasn't seen. We have no bounty. So I just had to, like, buff myself a little bit more to get the damage that I needed. So yeah, that could have gone better, I admit. But we still did it. And yeah. What do I want? I want key to her house. I want her gold. I want everything she has. I don't think she has anything useful in her house, but we'll check anyway. Which I believe her house is right here. Nope, that's not your house. Maybe it's this one. Nope. Which one of these is your house? I know you ran by here. But I don't remember which one's your house. Whatever, it's not important. Next target. We are going to kill the X Miler, Miller. Sorry, the X Miller at Angus Mill. I'm using any means necessary for the disposal. And you are located. Oh, actually, I've actually been here before. Normally, you wouldn't see me um reload a save like that, but I kind of wanted to see what I could do possibly with that without having like resort to using cheap magic or anything like that. Strangers are always trouble. Oh, you have no idea, buddy. Although, honestly, I guess running around in fucking black or fucking um, Brotherhood armor is kind of a tale that I'm an assassin, I guess. So I, I probably theoretically shouldn't be running around in this, but it's whatever. Alright, well, he's here chilling by himself. I don't think I have anything to make me invisible, so I can backstab him. Which is unfortunate. I do not. Let's see. I don't have any potions of invisibility, I don't think, either. Nope, I do not. That's fine. Um... We'll try for the backstab, if, if anything else. Well, we can take him head on, I think. There we go. Alright, so that's two. We need one more. Let's see. And you are located... in Arverstead. This one's gonna be a little bit difficult because he's a beggar, and he's always gonna be around people. Alright. So it's nighttime, so this actually gives us a little bit of an advantage. Let's see. I 
think that's him over there. I might be able to get a shot off on him. Let's get somewhere else. What do you want? Oh, hi. Um, what? Nothing. I want nothing. Uh, okay. Um, not as planned. Definitely not what I planned. That's fine. That's fine. And now, okay. Alright. I think I have one more potion of true shot here. 20% damage. That's better than nothing. There we go. Alright. So that's the first three targets we've taken down. Um, could have been a little bit cleaner, not gonna lie. But regardless, I think we did fairly well. So let's go ahead and report back and see what the next three quests are. The Night Mother is mother to all. It is her voice we follow, her will. Would you dare risk disobedience? And surely punishment? What the hell is going on here? Keep talking, little and we'll see who gets punished. I'll be quiet, you great lumbering lapdog. The man has had a long journey. You can at least be civil. Mr. Cicero, I for one am delighted you and the Night Mother have arrived. Your presence here signals a welcome return to tradition. Oh, what a kind and wise wizard you are! Sure to earn our lady's favor. You and the Night Mother are of course welcome here, Cicero. And you will be afforded the respect deserving of your position as Keeper. Understood, husband? Her. Oh, yes, yes, yes! Thank you, thank you, thank what you! What the fuck? I don't remember him dancing. Make no mistake. I am the leader of this sanctuary. My word is law. Are we clear on that point? Oh, yes, mistress. Perfectly. You're the boss. Right. Ah, uh, there you are. Good. I was done speaking with that muttering fool anyway. He's kind of right there. We've got some business to discuss. Kind of right there when you're talking shit about him, but whatever. I do indeed. You must go to the city of Markarth and speak with the apothecary's assistant. You'll probably find her in the hag's cure when the shop is open. The girl's been running her mouth. Once an ex-lover killed, she's apparently performed the black sacrament. Her name is Muiri. I need you to talk to her, set up the contract, and carry it out. Just do whatever the contact wishes. Be professional, represent us well, and get the job done. Since it's your first contract, I'll let you keep whatever Muiri pays. She'll be generous, I'm sure. They always are. Alright, so now we're getting to the, to the nitty gritty of things. This is our first official contract. Um, if I remember correctly, uh, it still follows the tradition of... Um, okay, thanks for interrupting me talking while I'm talking, guy. But anyway, um, so yeah, fuck, I lost track of what I was saying. So yeah, I think the contracts still go on to where they'll give you prerequisites to what you have to do, but you don't necessarily have to do them, but you'll get less of a reward for them, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, for whatever reason, I, I completely just lost track of what I was saying when he interrupted me. But anyway, we're going to go turn in the reward here so we can get some gold, even though we really don't need it. You reek of death, my friend. I salute you. Of course she is. I hear the mining business is a... I could do this all day. Here's your payment. Let's see. I think it's like 100 gold or something like that. It's not... It's anything. Not anything so, oh, 600. Okay, never mind. I'm a liar. Congratulations. You Here's your payment. And this guy's talking shit to me as I'm killing beggars. Okay, so I'm I'm a liar. Each one of these is six hundred gold. Good. And I hope you were careful in that lump. Your payment for a job well done. 
All right, so that's the first three technical contracts that we have, but now is our official contract that got assigned to us. I'm sorry, I don't. Come see me again later. So let's see. Morning never comes. This is where we're going to be starting with. We need to go to Markov and talk to her and set up the contract. Should be pretty simple. Uh, let's see. That's in Disenchanter. Actually, I'm going to need you to take get off this for a second. Uh, I'm gonna need you to, gonna need you to, need you to move, lady, because I need this. All right. So what we're gonna do is, I think we can disenchant the armor we have, right? Let's see. Maybe not. We could disenchant this. All right. Fortify magic. So I'm just going to disenchant these that I don't need anymore, just so I can raise up my arcane abilities. And yeah, let's see, if I want it to... Well, I can deal with this later, this is something I can do off screen. Anyway, let's go kill the target, that's what we're here for. Alright, so we're here. This is the lady we have to talk to, which I don't think she's going to talk to us in the open. Why are you looking at me like that? Did you see what happened? The Dark Brother. Oh, oh. I, my goodness, you're really here. Yeah. Black Sacrament. You can kind of tell by the armor, lady. worked. What I need. What I need is for Elaine Dufont to die. I want him hunted down and murdered like the dog he is. Seems simple enough. I didn't know it when we were with each other, but Elaine is actually the leader of a band of cutthroats. Bandits. They're holed up in some old dwarven ruin. Raldbathar. It's near Windhelm. They use it as their base. It's where they stage their raids. I want you to go to that ruin, find Elaine Dufont, and kill him. I don't care about his friends. Do whatever you want with them. But Elaine has to die. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. Excellent. Once Elaine is dead, I'll pay you. In gold. I've saved up a bit. I hope that'll do. But, well, there is one more thing. If you're interested. All right. I'm listening. If you can, I want you to kill someone else as well. You don't have to, not as part of our deal, but if you do, I'll pay you even more. And who is this person? Nilsine Shatter Shattershield in Windhelm. If Nilsine dies too, I'll make it worth your while. All right. What's the full story I here? I went to Windhelm to see the Shatter Shields. They were old and dear friends, and in mourning, Frigga was killed recently. Murdered. I met Elaine in the tavern while I was drinking my sadness away. He was handsome and charming. He said I was the beautiful lily of his dreams. Elaine made all the pain just go away. But it was all lies. Elaine used me. He ruined my name, destroyed my friendship with the Shatter Shields. Do you know why Elaine was in Windhelm? He heard about Frigga's murder. He wanted to befriend the family in their grief and rob them blind. Smart Elaine man. Used me to get close to my friends. And now they all think I'm some kind of monster. Elaine Dufont took my life, and now I'm taking his. All right, so that makes sense as to why he wants to die, or why she wants to kill him. But why do you want to kill the Shatter Shield? Don't you see? I was like a daughter to Tova, a sister to Nelsine and Frigga. But the family refuses to believe my innocence, no matter what I say. Couldn't they understand that I was used? That I was grieving for Frigga too? No, they treated me like garbage, threw me away. With Nelsine dead? Maybe then Tova will realize what she's lost, huh? Maybe then she'll see that I was just as much a daughter as the others. And if not, may she drown in her own tears. Hmm. I planned to kill Elaine myself, you know. Nilsine, too. But lost my nerve. I even brewed a special poison. Lotus extract. Maybe you could use it? Just coat your weapon with it. Then you get the idea. 
I think this is actually pretty decent poison too, the lotus extract. Uh, let's take a quick look before we move on. Let's see. Uh, drain six points of health. Never mind. It's it's your standard potion. I uh, actually I think I have stuff that deals more than that somewhere in my in my inventory. Um. Anyway, ooh, I think I actually saw something that was interesting. Do I have a frenzy potion? Up to level eight though, so I don't know if that's gonna work, but whatever. So we're gonna go to some dwarven ruins, and those ruins are, well, to say the least, they're pretty tough, especially on higher difficulties. Uh, where is the where's the quest line? Because that's the optional. I don't want to do the optional just yet. Okay, so we need to go here, and I believe there's a mine around here somewhere. And the closest place to get there looks to be Gallows Rock, and then we head to the east or northeast around this area. So we'll take care of that first and then we'll decide if we want to go kill the the Shatter Shield. Okay, so here are the Dwarven Ruins. I don't think there's anyone outside of here, but let's take a quick look. I'm not detecting anyone outside of the ruins, but apparently there's definitely someone around here. Oh, actually there is. You know what? This gives us opportunity. What the hell are you doing here, Dossie? Actually surprised. All right. I want to see how well you do. I'm curious. So yeah, that's something I have. I forgot I can summon a rhinoceros. But yeah, that's part of Toby's path. He actually has the summoning jutsus, which uh, they're they're powerful enough on their own. Um, they get the job done, especially if you get the chance to summon the dragon outside. Um, unfortunately, you cannot bring these creatures inside with you, so that's one of the um, the drawbacks. So we'll go ahead and dismiss this, and he's gone. Oh, I don't understand why you are here. There's definitely one of the bandits now. This is going to be a little tough. Because I don't have a lot of good ranged weaponry. And I think that's going to be the best way to take this. But I might be able to get close enough to actually um to actually stab her in the back. We'll see. Very nice. So we'll try and handle this with stealth as much as possible, but um, yeah, still gonna be a little bit hard. Now I could definitely get past that. Do you know what? Okay, it's on a timer. I was gonna say I could use the Kamui to definitely go past that if need be, but it doesn't seem like I need to because it's based off a timer. And it doesn't do that much damage anyway. So I think our target is just up ahead. Let's see, let's use the Sharing Gun to double check. Yeah, it was like three targets. I don't know if I can open his gate though, it might be locked. Okay, so we need to kill this guy here. Now, I feel as though I could snipe him, but I have an idea. I want to try something. 
Let's see, strongest arrows I definitely have are the, um, that's actually a pretty cool dagger, is the, I guess the Orcish and the Seeker arrows are the two strongest I have. I'm going to try and coat it with this Frenzy Potion, and I want to see if he'll actually attack. Without me being seen. So let's see. Okay, so the Frenzy Potion actually worked. I think it worked. Yep, it definitely worked. And now he's dead. And I don't even have to fight the other two. So there we go. I, I wanted to try and see if that would work. Because I was definitely curious. But yeah, job well done. I think that was pretty pretty smart if I do say so myself. Alright, so now that that person has been eliminated, uh, we have the option to go ahead and do the side mission, which is kill the Shatter Shield. Now, generally, I don't... This is... They're both motives for revenge. And I get where she's coming from with the first guy, but I think the second kill is just a little bit petty. To say the least. But... I do get more gold as a reward. And I'm not in dire need of gold, but I think I'll do it anyway. Alright, now she's wandering around outside the city. Now this is going to be a little bit harder to take care of because there's so many eyes within the city that there's not really much we can do, per se, of like a decent assassination. Hold it there. Keep your distance. Another mission don't really care about right now. Uh, that's just a it's a side mission about a murder in the city, but we're not going to focus on that. We can go back and do it later if need be. And you're I'm surprised you survived taking a sword through the chest, especially back then. No, no, no. What? Did you need something? Um. Yeah. Moiri? I can't believe my family trusted that backstabbing little strumpet. You tell her she's dead to us. You hear me? Dead! Yo. I have nothing to say to you. Just leave me alone. Okay, so I'm gonna try and attack her using stealth before she enters the door. Probably not gonna work. Or rather, you know what? I have an idea. Now, not the best idea, because technically still count as me attacking her, but at least we only have to pay 40 gold. I think we can have him look the other way. Oh, man. I forgot I placed you in here. Man, that's funny. I forgot I placed you in here. So she's dead, finally. Oh, you'll find out soon enough what happened to her. I'm so glad she's dead, by the way. Is she actually not getting touched by the flames? Oh, that is unacceptable. We are definitely going to have to fix that. Oh, wait, there she goes. Finally catching on fire? Good. Alright. So, ultimately, that kid takes care of two birds with one stone. Which I'm glad. Because I was wondering why she wasn't dying earlier. But I'm so glad you're dead. 
Uh, you actually have a pretty decent armor set, too. I'm gonna take it. Skyforge sword, shield. Eh, you got some pretty decent stuff. I don't think you have anything. Take your key. Pickpocket. Alright. So that's all of that. So we can travel back to Markov now. And we can turn in the quest. Now that we've um, taken out both targets. Or the, uh, the actual target and then the optional target, I should say. Alright, so town... Or is it? It's actual city, I guess. Yep. Alright, so we're back into the city, and I imagine she's gonna be back under shot. A woman attacked right on the streets. Are you alright? Did you see what happened? No, I didn't see anything. You don't have to say sorry to me. I just hope the eight bring us more peace in the future. Oh, I think you dropped this. Some kind of note. Looks important. Hmm? No. I was just getting some fresh air. I had one too many pints of mead at the Silver Blood Inn. Alright. Well, that just introduces another quest that we can take care of later. Um, so, yeah. What we're here to do is go to the town and talk to the lady that gave us the quest. I think she's back here somewhere. Oh, buddy, you are having a hard time climbing up these stairs. I feel bad for you. Yep, still having a hard time. Alright. The deed is done, lady. Well, what news? Is Elaine... Indeed, he is dead. Thank you. That bastard got exactly what he deserved. And I heard about Nilsine. You have more than fulfilled your part of the bargain. Please... Take this, as payment, and a symbol of my affection. I'll never forget you. I think you can actually marry her if you wish. Um, if you have the desire to do so. Though I'm not 100% certain. Thank you again for resolving my problem. Yeah, but I think you need to have the, the necklace on. Anyway, that's it for all of that. We can go back to the Dark Brotherhood. I think I actually take a couple of things here. Now that we're technically friends. Um, that was weird. <coughs> I'll take the dragon's tongue. Day with you around. Yeah, so you can just kind of like pick and choose some things here that, that you can take. Anyway, sorry, I'm just rumbling on and stealing shit. Let's go on. Okay, so I just set a marker here, and what that allows me to do is I can actually fast travel inside of the um, of the Dark Brotherhood using the Kamui Custom Marker. So that's actually pretty cool, and one of the overlooked things about this mod is that you can actually um, teleport to like detailed places, places you know you're going to go keep going back into, so you can kind of like avoid loading screens and stuff like that. So I think that's kind of, kind of something that's overlooked, but actually really, really cool. Anyway, I'm just rambling on here. So let's get back to where we was. And we can talk to her about our reward. Ah, you're back. <coughs> so, how went your first real contract? A bit more exciting than what Nazir's been offering, I'd wager? Of course, dear, of course. And from what my little ravens tell me, you handled yourself quite well. Now. I need your assistance with a matter of a more personal nature. Well, see, this when, is where when you she bothers me about the Dark Brotherhood because she it. places herself above the actual Brotherhood. Um, that's one of the reasons I don't like this oh, story back. of the Brotherhood more so, so than Oblivion. It's because it was more was about more the group than more than individual gain. And I feel like she's using the Dark Brotherhood just to be a glorified assassin. But anyways, that's just kind of like my personal thoughts on that. But I think this is going to be a good place to stop this part for now. Uh, once we come back, we will handle whatever personal mission she wants to handle for us. I hope to see you guys in the next video, and I hope you enjoyed this part. See you then.